Alexa, sing Woohoo Technology. Technology. Without the Wi-Fi, I couldn't say hi. As for music, I couldn't choose it. Shopping lists would cease to exist, and time would be on your wrist. I thank my lucky stars that I'm here today. I hope that you'll agree. Give me one, two, three shots aloud for tech, 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 technology. Hi everyone, welcome to a new video by Original Video Reviews. I'm the OVR guy and as you can see we have here a new package. As always, we're going to find out together what's inside and how to use this thing. So let's not waste any time, let me grab the Swiss knife. Here's the Swiss knife and we're going to unpackage it. Okay, so after we saw what's included inside the package, let's go over the user manual of the Amazon Echo Dot 3rd generation. At the top are four buttons, volume up, volume down, action button, and the button to shut the microphone off. This is the light ring, and it will come into life once I'm gonna plug the device into the electricity. On the side you can see the power port and the auxiliary audio output. Unlike the second generation of the Amazon Echo Dot that was powered using a USB cable, this one comes with a 15 watts power adapter. The outside of the device is covered with this fabric that is familiar from the larger Amazon Echo. If the second generation looked like a hockey puck, then the third generation looks like a very sophisticated donut. Let's move to setting up this device. First we need to plug it to the electricity and wait for Alexa to say hello. Hello, bringing your device online. Just a moment, your device is ready. The next step is to complete the setup of this device using the Alexa app. Now I'm gonna set up the device using my Amazon Fire HD8 tablet. Add a device, Amazon Echo, Echo Dot, third generation. I don't see anything to connect. Check the device you'd like to use and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Alexa, are you connected? I am connected to the internet. Okay, I'm not sure how, but apparently the device is already registered under my account, so it shows up on the Alexa app. I guess once you purchase the device from Amazon under your account, so they registered it under my name. On one hand, it saves time, but if I want to give it as a present to someone else, then I will have to deregister the device from my account. There's an option to connect the third generation of the Echo Dot to a speaker. You can do that using a Bluetooth connection or an auxiliary cable. If you're using Bluetooth connection, place your speaker at least 3 feet away from your Echo Dot for optimal performance. Now I would like to demonstrate to you the difference between this one and this one when it comes to the audio quality. I'm gonna start with the second generation. Alexa, say something nice. Okay, let's get a compliment. The people you love are lucky to have you in their lives. Now I'm gonna switch to this one. Alexa, say something nice. Okay, let's get a compliment. Somehow you make time stop and fly at the same time. You don't see my face right now, but I'm blushing. Okay, so what I'm about to do now is read you the latest newsletter, what's new with Alexa that I received today, March 2nd. It says, I've got jokes about all that jazz. Just say, Alexa, tell me a joke about jazz. Why did the trombone cross the road? To get to the other slides. Wah, 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 wah. Oh my god, she's killing me with those jokes. Next one, Alexa, no soup for you. Come back, one year. Next. 
that was funny you know if you grew up in the 90s then you're probably familiar with Seinfeld which was a great TV show the soup Nazi episode Alexa when does Game of Thrones return season 8 of Game of Thrones will return to HBO Sunday April 14th the six episode season will be the conclusion to the series. I'm super excited towards Game of Thrones. I'm a bit disappointed that it's going to be a very short season, but it's going to be the last season of this incredible TV show. So you have to appreciate what they give you. And after that, there's probably gonna be a different TV show that will take over our lives, right? Let's go to the next one. Alexa, what's the question of the day? You have already responded to today's question. She's annoying, you know. Alexa, what is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is singing. It keeps my voice warm and my spirit up. No, 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 no. She wants me to ask her to sing. Please don't, okay? Alexa, when is Ash Wednesday? In Australia, Ash Wednesday is next Wednesday, March 6th. Alexa, what is Ash Wednesday? Ash Wednesday is a Christian holy day of prayer, fasting, and repentance. Okay, happy holidays. Alexa, can you do an impression? I like to pretend I'm in front of a mirror when I do my Robert De Niro. You talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? Well, now that I think about it, I guess you are. Hello. That was the worst impression I've ever heard. And the last one, Alexa, who's on dish duty tonight? With the Who's Turn skill blueprint, create a custom list of names, and I will choose whose turn it is to do a chore, make dinner, pick a movie, and more. Get started at blueprints.amazon.com. Okay, I got it. She wants me to set up a skill. I might do it later, but right now I have a video review to finish. So let's go to the summary. From the little time that I spent with the Echo Dot third generation, I can tell you that the main differences between this one and the second generation Echo Dot are the design, the fact that this one is using a USB cable to charge it while this one has a power adapter, the third generation has four built-in microphones at the top while the second generation offers a seven microphone array, but if it's better or not, it's still hard for me to say. The symbol of the mute button on each of the devices looks different, the volume level that is higher in the newer model, and probably the audio quality because from first impression it seems that this one offers a better sound. Well boys and girls, this was my video review of the Amazon Echo Dot 3rd generation. For more details, please check the description to the video. If you still have any questions, leave a comment and I'll do my best to come up with an answer. If this video was helpful and you enjoyed watching it, I invite you to give it a like. Also, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channels, follow me on the social networks and visit my website originalvideoreviews.com. I would like to thank you for watching. Another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye bye.